Today I want to talk to you about teaching your dog how to stand. There are three basic positions that we can teach a dog, that is the sit, the down, and the stand, and all three of them are equally important. If you're doing any kind of a dog sport, then you'll have to know how to teach your dog a stand because your dog will be required to do a stand in those sports, whether it's AKC um, or IPO. I don't know, I don't know if Mondio has it in there or the ring sports have it in there, but for the, for the sake of argument, let's say we need to teach the dog that. Maya, come here. Maya Platz. So in German, Maya knows that Platz means lie down. She lies down and she will stay in her down until I release her from the down. She also knows her sit command. Now she's very rusty on stand, so I thought I would choose Maya to teach the stand to. Um, and you'll see it kind of uh, leak in and out. It'll be perfect sometimes and other times it won't. And I'll show you the proper corrections on how we teach the stand. And um, there are some, um, we can do it very positive only, obviously. But the easiest way to teach is going to be to put some aversives in, some corrections in order to teach her the structure of how to learn the stand. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. There's tons more videos where these come from. Um, important to understand that everything with training your dog is based on the relationship you have with your dog. And that relationship is based on how you train your dog. I like to give my dog as much information as I can. I like to reward my dog with treats, toys, and praise when I can. But I also like to give my dog a correction when the dog doesn't have the right information. So, the first phase of teaching the dog the positions is going to be to lure the dog through all three. And to do that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the treat and I'm going to say, Maya, stand and I'm going to touch under her belly and prop her up. And while she's here, I say, stand, good stand. And then I'll tell her, sit. There's her sit. And then I'll say, stand and push back and say, sit and push her down here and then say stand. The, the position for the stand for the treat here my, is going to be forward because that's going to pull her forward. That's the positive way to do this. The purely luring methodology is to go sit here and for, from the sit to the stand, the treat comes from her nose straight forward. Stand like that. But I want this to kind of pop up. So. That's the entire luring sequence of the technique is to simply go from this position here, from sit, good, to stand, to bring this forward, right? And I can kind of start to do that now from here. I can say, Maya, sit and lure her to stand perfectly, right? That works great, but when the treat's not there, you're not going to have that ability. So you're going to want to introduce something like a leash. So when I tell her here, stand, she comes forward. Not a bad technique, but what I worry about with the dog is she's always lunging forward on the stand. She's not staying in her position. So here, if I say stand, she's taking her front legs forward, which then offsets her from where she was. So let's try it just with a verbal this time. Maya, come here. Good. Sit, stand. See, she can't do it right? Because I'm in front of her. I'm blocking this movement. So the next phase of teaching, this phase two, is going to be to put a little bit of an aversive in and I'm going to take my, my foot here, but sit, and I'm going to tap her underneath. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see it a little bit better from here. Maya, sit, stand, and I'm going to tap her up here. Good girl, right? Maya, Maya, sit, stand, and this comes in, right? Good girl. Maya, Maya, sit, good. Stand, yeah, good girl. That one I didn't need to tap her on. But she still thinks the foot is coming. There's still this movement forward that she's going to start to see. Maya, Maya, plutz. Nope, plutz. Good girl. Stand, nope, stand. Yes, good girl. She's going to get that from there. So the two phases to this so far, like I told you, are going to be from here, she's going to be Maya, sit, good, stand, I can come under and push her up, and I want to reinforce this by saying good stand, hey, good stand, good stand, stand, and then release from there, yes, good girl. From the other side here, again, Maya, Maya sits. She knows sits. Maya, stand. No, stand. 
stand. This comes in underneath here, right? It goes just to her tummy and it's just touching. You're not kicking the dog. Whatever you do, don't kick the dog because then the dog won't go into the stand because they think it's a negative. They think that they're gonna get hurt going into the stand. But if she just thinks, stand. Good girl. Nope, stand. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. And this is a dog who doesn't really know the stand very well. So it makes it easy for me to show you the technique of how it's going to shape out. Maya, here. Good. Stand. Nope, stand. Stand. Good girl. Yes. Right, she'll get it there. Maya Plutz. Good. Sits. Stay. Yeah, good girl. There, stay is one of the words I've been using with her, so it makes it a little bit easier. Maya, come here. Good girl. Maya Plutz. Good girl. I want that to be a little bit faster. I might put a correction on that. Maya, stay. Yeah, good girl. Maya, sits. Nope. Correction, right? Good. Stay. Nope. Stay. Yeah, good girl. And remember, dogs can be trained in two languages. Maya is pretty much bilingually trained in English and German. But um, what's important is the consistency, that she's going to know the, em the emphasis or the, the intonation is still kind of the same between stay and stand. It kind of has the same sound to her. Stay. Nope. Stay. When tap her up, stay. Good girl. Now, the important thing is that she's going to hold this stay. Stay. Good stay. Nope. Stay. She has to hold that without thinking that it's a transitionary movement between the two, the sit and the down. Yes, good girl. So in order to do that, in order to, to put a little bit more work into this, I'm gonna tell her here, Maya, stay, no, nope, stay, good. And when she's in this position, I'm gonna say, good stay, good stay. And I'm gonna make sure she doesn't start to give in to, nope. See there, she's, she's trying to transition into the sit, which I don't want. Stay, good, good stay. Nope, stay. And the more she understands, the longer she can stand in this stay position or the stand position, the longer she's, go the easier, I should say, she's gonna learn that this is an actual position. Yes. So the mistake you'll make, because early on, what I want you to do is to transition her. So the, er, the very early phase, I'm going to back up now and show you that I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say it in German. Platz, good. Sitz, sitz, good. Stay, stay, good. That's the three phases, right? Platz is down. Sitz is, is this way, good. Stay is this way. But there are three movements that are going from one to the other. What I want to do is make each one last. So if watch, for example, here. If I say Maya, sits, she's going to hold that position, right? She's not going to get out of this because there's going to be an implied stay in the position. Good sits. She's, nope, sits. See, if she goes out of it, I want to give her an aversive. I want to correct her and guide her to stay in the right position. Yes. Right? Give her a treat. Nope. There we go. That one shot kind of far. My right here. Plots. Okay. She's going to stay in this because easy, the, the down is the easiest technique for the dog to stay in because they understand that this is the position. It's a, it's a very immobile position. Sit and stand are transitional positions where they go from one to the other. They're going to go from a sit to a down or from a sit to a stand or from a stand to a sit or whatever. But the down is kind of an immobile position. They understand this is the place they need to be to stay, to stay forever. Yes. Or I should say until the release. All right now the second phase here is going to be to do that same thing with the stand. So I'm going to say Maya, stay. And she's going to naturally go to a default position. No. Stay. And the only way to really correct that is to put a block in that if she goes to sit down or lie down, nope. There's a physical block that's, nope, that stops her. Good. Yes. And the release comes once the dog settles into it. You're going to need to watch your dog, watch the body language to see if the dog does understand this, right? Good. Plots. And I'm going to take her and put her in the position because she's starting off in a stand. So when I say something from there, she thinks, oh, I've got to do something different. But there's nothing different here. Maya, stay. 
No, stay. I give her that support. Good, stay. No, stay. Good. Good. Yeah, good girl. So she's holding it a little bit longer and the release is as she's holding it, once she settles in, once she kind of goes, okay, I'm here, I'm staying here. Then I release her, that she starts to see that's the position. And you're only gonna do this with using treats. You can do some corrections and you can do some aversives, but there's gotta be a positive mark on the correct behavior. So watch again, sits. Good girl, that's a good sit. Plots. That's a good plots, good girl, no plots. Good. She sat there. Stay. Yeah, good girl. She got it, right? But now watch if I add a little duration to it, she's going to get a little, little shaky on it. Plots. Good. Sits. And she knew we were going to stay, but I didn't want to do that. No sits. Good. And now stay. Stay. No. Stay. Stay. Good. Yes. See how long she held that? The longer she holds it, the more she starts to understand that this is an actual technique, an actual position she'll need to hold. Maya, plots. Stay. No, stay. Good. Yeah, good girl. So there's no correction there with the exception of the negative marker, the word using the word no, as that's not what I'm asking for, it's what I want. But she knew previously when the no came and I would say stay, I would put my foot in and guide her into the stay very gently. Notice she's not averse to this. She's not shying away from this movement. In fact, this is her cue of, hey, that's what I want you to do. Good girl. She's going to know stay. Good. No, stay. I'm not even really touching her on the stay anymore. I'm actually just putting the foot forward. The next phase of that is going to be what you just saw previously, which is where I just say no, and she, no, stay, no, stay, good. No, stay, no touching, right? It's just kind of moving it forward so she starts to see good, 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 stay. Good, stay, I repeat the word, no, stay, good. Yeah, good girl. And notice that I release her once to the front, once to the back, once to the side. Different releases, keep the dog active, keep the dog dialed into you. And doing this a few times a day, maybe five minutes, three times a day, will get her to understand this technique super fast. We'll check back in with her in a few weeks and you'll see that she'll have this perfectly. She had it very, very shaky for a while. Then we stopped training her, like I said, because she had some injuries, she had some surgeries and stuff done. But we're getting back into training Maya to get her, um, her CD hopefully soon. And uh, it's a fun, fun process. I mean, training your dog, it's just the best way to build a relationship. It's, it's the, the most fun way to make your dog love you. Maya, come here. And get her to understand that everything with you is about building a relationship, building trust, and having a really fun life because it gives the dog a job to do. And dogs, we all know, need a job to do. And obedience and games and stuff like that with our dogs is the best way to do that. So enjoy your day, enjoy your dog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel right here. Tons more videos. Give it a thumbs up. Take care. Right, Maya? Good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl.